E leader. I stranger. Save this recording. Awesome. Huh. You got this, Nuke. Can I get this steel wheel? Thank you. No. Made a meat face pun and then the battle ended there. A what pun? A meat face pun because he said beef the vultures. Ah. Uh... If you jump for the beef, would you jump for the oh. chicken? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, come on, stop giving me stringers. Come on. <laughs>
the H3. Of course another fly fish shows up immediately after I kill the first one. Sometimes I just cripple them because then you're only dealing with half of one and it's a lot more bearable. Last two B glue just re-upped with Black Stallion Motorsports for 41 months. Well glue. Oh God, what is this? Well glue to answer your question, this is Cruisin' USA except made by Ubisoft really bad and slapped with the fucking Hooters licensing. What? What game would that be? Hooters Road Trip for the PS1. Oh fuck. Hooters Road Trip? Wait, a uh, Hooters game for the PS1 sounds hilarious. Well, it's like, okay, it's a, it's a racing game, ostensibly. And the, like, they made a shitty racing game, essentially. And then went, hmm, this is shit. How do we get people to actually buy this? Oh, I know. Tell me there's, like, triangle tits in that game. Mm, there, are, there are not. All the tits are in the uh, loading screens and in the FMVs for when you uh, finish a race. Ah, so it's the Cooter's theme. Yes. People buying the game and hope to see triangle tits. Nope. I bet that's the only way that game will be worth a while, because that would be really funny. It's... As a racing game, like, I've seen people do videos on it, and it's, don't get me wrong, it's bad, but it's not quite as bad as I was led to believe. Like, I was expecting it to be incredibly uncontrollable, but no, instead of just... You gotta start leading this shit to the basket. Fly fish. I miss... that one purple because there's another full ass one over here. Nope, it's dead. Oh, cool. This looks like pre-alpha in terms of overall polish. Look at that. I mean... No, nah, this is finished product. <laughs> it's just not a very good finished product. Probably more finished than half the shit that comes out nowadays. Yeah, especially from Ubisoft. Yeah, the only thing that they're going to end up finishing is themselves. Hopefully. Sooner <laughs> rather than later. Slash, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. You are not wrong. That's what's, that's the thing. Here's Road Trip slash 3 Extreme Marathon. The extremes also super unfinished. Question mark.
That's the one 989 Studios did, right? I believe. Like, the, the Rally Cross I don't know slash what Twisted Metal random people. random expected to happen there. They can make their way back. I'm not going over there. Very bad game compared to ESPN Extreme. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine so. Get the fuck out of my way here. There we go. Imagine get this, getting this into the GDQ time capsule. <laughs> oh no. Hey, aren't you that Hebrews? <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Was I known for my spiral runs? No. Was I known for getting Vortaliani off the ground? No. Was I known for Hooters Road Trip? Absolutely. <laughs> Developed arthritis. Me with nozzle nose. Ah. Feeling a little bit silly after the COVID booster yesterday. I'd imagine so. <laughs> Some people react to that pretty differently. Yeah, I, I get pretty bad reactions with like any vaccine. Honestly, it's always been that way. Probably because. Uh immune system not great so overreact to small thing yeah the flu one time pretty much just gave me like a 14 hour bout of what felt like the flu and then the first covid vaccine kind of made me feel iffy for a day and then like the second shot like full on laid me out for three days <laughs> Like, that was just K-fucking-O. It was a real Colossus movie. What, the hockey player getcha? No, I just got into Colossus. Ah. There's a moment in Colossus. Oh! You have yet to have a true Colossus moment. When you do, you're gonna be going, Why are you? Are you? <laughs> I'm going to keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! <clears throat> Uh, what the fu- 
There's a have big shit. The, have you used the Sniper Rider before? Yeah, I actually used it a little bit in PvP at one point. What are we lamouting about, Glued? All I heard them, all I heard the girls say was ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. This is bullshit. <laughs> Three out of five, hockey one. Life is over, losing time. Mm. Zam. So good. Fucking truck out of the way. We should have finished hockey too. At least twenty seconds ago. Just me being dumb dumb. Oh, they gave me a brush for this. I have the fucking Grisco Slosher, and I'm like, you know what, I'll just collect eggs. I can't use this thing for shit. The Grisco Slosher? Slosher yeah, Slosher Arbiter returns. has returned. <laughs> it's so slow. It's painfully slow. Oh wait, actually it's probably gonna be good for taking out the shit Mother itself. Shit, get out of here. What? Bets on uh number of redfish. Three. Four. That's so Y two K. Yeah.
free. Right down to the ass metal. Hoover's Rose on ass. Yep. Four. Huh. <sighs> All right. Like Slash was right. I was trying to think it. What do I win? We're hanging. We're uh, chilling. I don't know. I'm doing nothing. Chance to gamble. Hey, Maverick. Let's what's go up? Gamble. This came out real late in the PS1's lifetime. Yeah, that's probably why it's kind of ass, because everyone knows, like, yeah, the PS2's out, we're going to develop for that. Or at least all the competent developers are there. What year was this? 2002. Oh my god, 02? Oh. 2002? <laughs> oh. Holy shit! Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, granted... You look at today, and there's still PS4 games coming out. To be fair, the hardware differences are a lot less insane now than they were then. I was chilling with Tekken 8 Online just now. Okay. Maverick, who do you main in Tekken 8? Is it still Kaz? Or is it somebody else? Kazuya? Yeah, I figured. I figured, but didn't want to assume. Hold up, I'm about to do take care of this fuck-ass stinger. I really need to learn new devil gin and Hiachi. <sighs> Are there a lot of those online? Somebody shot the propeller on the platform I died on and my dead body got sent across the ground. Oh, fuck. I don't play online often enough, so I don't know who's meta and who is not. The map that this is on makes this far more ass than it should be. I think this is a gold idol? Oh, for... Yeah, this map isn't too bad until the stingers start showing up. It's not as bad as fucking spawning ground, so... It was a gold idol. Yay, gold! Frankly, I'm not a fan of stances. It's to let them jump in, because, yeah. Yeah, that's a little hard to kind of wrap your head around if you're not really used to them. I was always more of a Paul Phoenix enjoyer. Simple and effective place to all that suits your taste. Absolutely. Like Paul 2, hey, let's go. Polnareff haired biker. What if I started speedrunning Tekken 2? Um, I say go for it, Glude. I would be very happy to see that. Beat my Jun Kazama time, time attack time. It's very easy to beat <laughs> if you're remotely competent at the game. That shit took me like nine minutes. <laughs> It's a T8 hair, but I think his voice acting improved a lot. Well, I mean, Maverick, Heihachi is on his, uh... Oh, wait a minute. You're not talking about Heihachi, you're talking about Kazuya. <laughs> That's since Tekken 3. No, Paul. Oh. I have the short-term memory loss. <laughs> I mean, you can still give him his old hair back. A 
course I ran out of ink right next to the stinger. <laughs> Under a turn attacking to remove their times. Oh. We're moving from R4 to Tekken 2. <laughs> Is that where everything's going? I don't feel like I yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Never read chat in the oncoming lane. <sighs> oh, okay, that's just good. I was reading chat while driving. Yeah. Yeah, like last month. I think in some respects it's stupid... worse than texting while driving. Well, what was it? Like last month or something, some fucking influencer of some fucking ah. description. Fucking wrecked his McLaren in the fucking yeah. range. You, yeah. I watched the he... Lewis Spears video about that. And, dude, the fucking guy who wrecked it was more worried about totaling his car than his friend who was with him. That looked so fucking, like, bad. Like, he was fucked up. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, okay. Oh my god, my car. Yeah, keep. Keep filming, I can get more content out of this. I I never heard of that guy's name like before then, and I still don't remember it now, but I mean, from what I've heard people say, he's just generally kind of a shitter anyways, so. I hope his friend fucking sues his ass. Oh, I same, honestly, TBH. He's like more fucking worry about your goddamn car than you know, the fact that your buddy's having a concussion and you're still making him fucking film. Yeah. Don't want to move away from R4 until I beat my PBs with a new duck station. Ah. 90% marathon of all the mainline PS1 Namco games. Ooh. Wait, what would that entail, though? That That's a lot of games. Let's do some dancing. Did you say all the PS1 Namco games? Yeah, someone in chat was oh, suggesting so a Namco many. Fecta. <laughs> that's so many. They were the fucking... They were the powerhouse behind the fucking PS1. Mm -hmm. You got all the Namco museums, all the Ridge Racers, all the Tekkens. You got fucking Starblade Alpha. You got fucking Cyber Sled. There's so Ace much. Ace Combat oh. one, 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Rage Racer. Oh no. Okay, I'd I'd tap out on that one alone. Hey, Rage Racer is a good game. Okay, it's hard as balls though, from what I've it seen. Is hard. It's I think what I'd consider the prohibitively played, hard. Shifting mattered the most in that one. Well, not well. Yeah. Plus, there was also the thing where, like, much like real life, there are certain cars that only come in manual. <laughs> kind of I mean, Me picking them on purpose. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> Our four is nothing compared to rage when it comes to difficulty. I would concur on that. Fucking glued. I saw you like run that like. What was it a few years ago or whatever? You're having this really bad time on the final GP, and then you finally beat it. And then sometime later in conversation, you're like, hey, Thrash, you should run Rage Racer. I'm just sat there like, I just saw you have a really bad time on it, though. <laughs> I don't want to subject myself to that. Oh. Tell with Diablo GP, especially <laughs> the Gold Coast. Still stuck on that bloody fucking track. T 
TIL Namco did a cartoony tennis series for the PS1. And it's on SRC. What tennis was it? I feel like the one that's got like all the guest characters and whatnot was like on the PS2 or something like that. I seem to remember like you could play tennis with like Heihachi and Reiko. If they give me a charger one more time, I'm gonna crash out. Smash court. I was like considering one of those using an Negicon emulation to with my DS2 for Rage alone. Oh god, does Rage suffer from the same thing as R4? Uh, Maverick, you want to weigh in on that? <laughs> I can't answer that. It does. Oh god, come oh, on. God. Fucking come on. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Kami. But drifting properly with an Edgycon is hard. Uh, yeah. I just think about going up that one hill on like most of the courses, and I'm just like, no, no, thank you, no, -uh, no, no. -uh. Pulling off a good drift with a good Edgycon must be like, must make you feel like a fucking wizard when you get it though. Yeah, I bet. Oh, fuck! I've seen my level attack for me. Hi, sir! Oh, God. Looks physically demanding. So, from what I learned from Toby's, you need to hit the neutral input as fast as possible, otherwise you rampage like shit. That sounds bad. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Drifting with the nightmare feels trivial to, next to the ridge. Drift. I got splatted by a Moz while I was using the inkjet. Yeah, they like to do that. Fucking physics. There's so many demanding strats that it's disheartening. Uh, Another gold! Another gold! Another gold! Ah, 
How's Honda run number two going, Luke? Uh, okay, I think. Oh, that's good. How far on or off the pace are you? I uh, don't know. Comparing it's average, I don't want to stress myself out. Fair enough. Respectable. I want to say I'm like high with PB though. Hmm. Exactly, Lawrence. I didn't even know you were streaming. Well, if it's a thing that you're doing alongside him, I imagine that was something he was also doing. Hope your runs were okay. Uh, you opened up it. Go ahead. Uh. Slash. <laughs> how did your race go with Blue the other night? I just remember um, that was a thing. I was not around for that, unfortunately. He took rounds uh, one and three with RTS, and I took round two with DRT. Oh shit! Repping DRT, holy shit! Yeah, we did. Uh, we did two RTS Saludo runs and one uh, DRT Saludo. Ooh. And I almost had a seven-second PB. That's where that um. Looks that's good. where that came from. Hmm. Cloudy D map. Um. And I just, I don't know, my brain just rotted in its case again for shooting hoops. Mm hmm. Shitting it pants. Just, yeah, I shit pant shoot hoop. Give out hardware. I keep making that reference, and I feel like nobody else actually knows what I'm talking about. I simply didn't hear what you'd said, actually. I said give out hardware. Correct, I'm not sure the reference. There was a really, really, really shitty bootleg Spider-Man game that uh, Vine Sauce played once. Oh, I see. And they described his web slinging as give off oh, cobweb. <laughs> 36 high 35. It makes me think of that one old meme where it was like, how do I shot web? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's... That's from... Wow. <laughs> that's from a while ago. Like when Golden was 0 0.06, probably just an early split. Yeah, I've gotten three golds this run alone so far. God that damn was it. in loose. Metropolis, Idle Springs, and Sunny Beach, which you can see on the splits. Uh, stupid cables coming loose. All goddamn me. They weren't super big golds, but they're still gold. Was 2016 through Sashazan Facebook 2825 after building up the run. Yeah, I don't know, that run just went really silly. Like, my sum of best is, uh, I think 2818 now. Mm -hmm. Which is, I don't know, I'm just like. I really didn't play racing games very much until, like, I don't know, a couple years ago. Mm. So I'm just like... You're already, like, boatloads faster than I am, so... You're very steadily encroaching upon the leaders. We're going to be knocking on Blue's door. You know, walking around and looking at all of the, the random inklings, I'm realizing not a lot of people seem to go for cute with their designs, but I always do. RTS Lizard season of Thrasher is coming. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not betraying Robert Christman. How dare. But fast! 
I can be fast with Robert Crispin's team. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Destroys me in the second half. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Just motor species playing in the background as you flat me. Shooting groups with MTS and DRT are the only races that threaten me to wipe in any capacity. Enter my seat hoping I would get it, but they also wipe to SH. Ah. Shooting hoops be like that sometimes, I reckon. Shooting hoops is just. You really do just be shooting hoops. You need six free throws in three minutes. Oh, goodbye. and if and if you don't, your battle royale collar goes off. Oh. Oh shit! Don't know how I survived that. But... Mm -hmm. I avoided one collision just to throw myself into another. I saw Battle Rail for the first time the other week. I. God damn it. I bought that, like, on Amazon, like, a few years ago, and I have yet to fucking sit down and actually watch the goddamn film. What about Battle Royale? Battle Royale, yeah. Bought that thing years ago. I don't know what's, don't know what's worse, my gaming backlog or my movie backlog? I have a lot of movies that I write down and never watch. I still want to watch Isle of Dog. Mmm. Yeah. That's also one that I feel like I should probably sit down and watch. I don't know if I've got it, though. Monkeys? Great. Discharge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Follow me? Hunter, if they hit you in the head, are they really hurting anything important? No. Yeah. I mean, Hunter do be kind of charging into situations where he doesn't think things fucking through. So he has running shoes. Yeah, and he can't even keep track of those. Maybe you'd get it if you had some. <laughs> That's actually my daily footwear, if I'm honest. <laughs> Does veer into holy sh or oh holy shit territory in parts. I've been watching a lot of movies in the past few years. Submit. Did watch Tears for Fears, a tipping point film last Saturday, so that's something. Hi, the return of Slosh Arbiter yet again. Oh my god. You're hitting me, Bombo. They're fucking. Shit. Um, actually, he loaded. goes by Bob now. According to Reignited Trilogy. Well, it's 1999, so. <laughs> Toys for Bombo. Just like ruined all of like time Sado. Like I'm not ahead anymore after this this, this scorch. It's just not possible. I'd make this game eligible for blast. For the past now that you mentioned it. Wait, what do you mean, Maverick? When I first run this stream, it was like a 144.58. I was saying Nuke's game is from 1999. This is from 2002. This would not qualify. <laughs> Besides, submissions for that are closed. But you're telling me a 22-year-old game doesn't count for something called Blast in the Past? So, 
Macrathon's doing a thing called Blast from the Past, and it has to do, it's any racing game that was released before the year 2000. Hmm. So, a shitty fucking Hooters racing game from 2002 doesn't count mercifully. This scorch is literally awful. Test Drive 6 would be eligible, depending on the version. Yes, it would. God damn it, I was trying to get a fucking photo and then multiplayer maps update. No. I submitted Test Drive 4, but I'm not going to be heartbroken if it doesn't get in. Because that's also a little bit of a silly ah game. Fucking base, holy shit. Somebody made a post that just says, please keep politics and religion out of Splatoon. Absolutely base. Wouldn't Splatoon or like Inklings be if they subscribe to any deity at all, it'd be fucking Cthulhu. Cause he he squid. Maybe. If any If any uh Cthulhu mythos still survives into their society. Hmm. Splatoon takes place in the far future of our world. Yeah. It's like 12,000 years or something like that. Yeah, humans have gone extinct. Hmm. My boss at the Library of Congress from Virginia to upstate New York. One thing I miss about the highway system in the States is the sheer volume of roadkill. <laughs> you know, my missions, it's like you guys want to see. It was kind of depressing. Yeah, I bet. What gets me a lot of the times is like when it's um, it's a cute animal, and I'm just like, oh no, no. There's plenty of road to go around here, gotta say. I've had the unfortunate experience of having to witness a kitten when I was <gasps> going to school one day. No. Kitty. There were multiple times in my old town that there was just one on the side of the road. It was really sad. Mm -hmm. That shit's depressing. It was. Nothing that compares to car crashes in general. Uh. I mean, I would say it depends on the car crash. Yeah, exactly. It's like you can survive a car crash. Roadkill is already dead. Yeah, and that, yeah. Yeah. People in my country steer with their knees. Man. I think the car culture in Brazil is neat, but uh, after you describing the drivers like that, I suddenly don't feel the need to visit. That was the, the thing that made you not want to visit. visit Brazil. <laughs> oh, am I gonna get fucking run over because some other fuckers driving with their knees? Yeah, you don't feel the need to visit. Is that Thanks what you guys are hung up on? That's what I'm hung up on. Oh, okay. I think Brazil would be a mostly awful place to visit, regardless. Hmm. Welcome. They do have some neat cars down there, though. That is very true. Get to see a VW Gaul. Get to see the fucking Brazilian Chevette. Let's go on a road trip for, through a favela. <laughs> oh,
the mode and you can never want to step in the biz. <laughs> sub-hour this at all, so. happening where you at just keep losing sparks <laughs> keeps wandering off this skill is kind of blows and I keep beefing Every level, come on now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there weren't Glude's favorite thing. <laughs> Skipping past the part where the Hooters girls just say ass. <laughs> ass. At least where I live isn't as bad as Rio de Janeiro or north capitals of the country, surprisingly. Not that Sao Paulo is chill when it comes to crime, though. You know, I feel like the big cities are probably just, you know, where you'd be most worried anywhere. I think there's a reason the that's that you're going to Brazil meme exists. Mm. I think it's that and also the, like, how it's always like come to Brazil and all the comments of like band pages and stuff. <laughs> Tell you the truth, not even the smaller towns get away with it. I mean, kind of happens here in the states too, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Especially if your if your town resides on like any major interstate or highway. That's why fentanyl is such a bad fucking problem where I live. Love fentanyl. <sighs> According to the cops, um, dealing with meth was an easier proposition. Oh, fuck. You have to have a fair share of crime problems, true. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta figure out what the fuck happened to my uh, 
best split noise. Because it's not playing like it's supposed to. Is it me or do the controls feel slippery? They are, in fact, very slippery. You're very drunkenly sauntering your car in between guard ra guardrails. Hey, George. Found George. Alright, Flashbolt, who's better, George or um, Farley? George. George. George of the Jungle. <laughs> Wait, are you just playing the same set of tracks over and over? Nope. So this game um, organizes its campaign as quote-unquote road trips. There are six of them in total, and they all start in the exact same place. And just ruin gold. What the fuck is wrong with me? Still a good crystal. I think. I don't know. So right now we're on Road Trip Six, which is the final one, and that's got seven stages to it. It's Fort Lauder Fort Lauderdale all the way to Santa Monica. Music sounds like a low-key banger. I honestly can't really hear the music. I've got the volume on my TV super, down super low. to inflict misery, I'd suggest this for the Ricky races, but I'm gonna be nice. It's not a hard game, it's just... Blech. Also, the whole Hooters branding kind of makes it fucking tacky.
Oh shit. per hour. That's the fastest I've ever driven. I... I'm willing to bet I've been in a car that's been over 100 miles per hour, but uh, if the stories are to be believed, I was a child and I was asleep in the back. I think I've ever gone over 95 in my uh, daily. want to push past 125 but it was too risky yeah I bet it was wish I kept tabs on the fastest speed I ever drove the Honda Fit last year <laughs> oh my god <laughs> remember kids obey the speed limit <laughs> drive responsibly Oh god. That's right, kids, the same for Dracer. Yeah. I think Fridge Racer would even be better than this. Uh if only I knew how to make a game, I would make your dreams a reality. <laughs> I would love it if Fridge Racer became a game. What if I learned how to code and make games just to make Fridge Racer? <laughs> just to make Fridge I'll, Racer. I would just, I would genuinely design it with like PS1 graphics in mind, honestly. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, it also lends pretty well to just <laughs> the fact that you're just sliding down a mountain on a literal fridge. <laughs> In a literal fridge. Just a big blocky fucking appliance. I love teeth pass. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a, get a guest location from the hit it racing series monster racer. <laughs> <laughs> what was it I said the other day? I wanted to say the hit crash bandicoot game crash bandicoot the wrath of cortex but instead I said the hit bandicoot the hit back. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I don't quite rightly recall. I don't know if we're in here. I know Bandy was here. Mm. I I've been kind of absent from a lot of the calls this week, so. Drove to Washington DC on baseball game day and had to deal with gridlock traffic in a stick shift car. Oh God. Oof. Yikes. Oh, that's a depressing thing. I do like stick shift cars, but not being stuck in traffic. Yeah. That kind of blows. Oh shit! Yeah. Got the needle there.
door. D is very appealing to me indeed. I like having full trunk control. E. That's the appeal in it. Apparently the Honda Fit is a really good car to learn when you want them. So I got lucky, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, the Mustang I've got like nothing. has the previous owner apparently put a sort of racing clutch in it, if he is to be believed, so uh, tighter tolerances, so yeesh. learning on that would be a little bit of a pain in the fucking nuts. Fit is great all around. They do seem to be a very good, uh, dependable A to B car. I mean, it's Honda, so. And this and Toyota's are pretty good at that. Welcome back. No, I fucked up that jump. <laughs> Don't worry, Glute. I'm pretty sure they're going to have plenty of opportunity to watch all these cutscenes being skipped <laughs> if they catch the. Catch the fucking run video. Screen Maverick side. Hunter, tell that to Barrett Landon. Brother fucking was just driving his Honda and his fucking key just broke while he was driving and then he crashed. The CRV? Oh right, that's he right. Was a Honda Pilot. I'm trying to remember exactly what Honda he had. I could have sworn in Sleepover at Sleepover One he had a CRV. I also do not remember. I do remember. Yeah, the Derek he Honda. Yeah. Honda Lander. In general, it depends on exactly which Japanese cars you go with. Well, did he have maintenance work done? Um, I'm, I don't know if that'd be directly related to the key itself. Yeah, no, literally his key snapped in half without provocation while he was driving, and then the car shut off. Well, I, well, here I am also kind of wondering what kind of direct oppositional force did he apply to the key while he was driving? And yeah, that's the thing, is like, you don't really touch the key aside from starting the car. Yeah. So it's like, I believe him when he says it just fucking <laughs> I mean... Mechanically, usually, Japanese cars are pretty safe bets. <laughs> Unless, you know, you're absolutely garbage at doing maintenance or keeping on top of the maintenance on the thing. So you never change the oil or whatever. Welcome to yeah, Maverick, I'm similarly bewildered. I'll have to ask him all about that next time I see him. Get in the Terraconda Shinji. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> oh, God. One of the worst episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion is when they forced Shinji to get in a Derek's Honda.
Oh boy, final race, here we go. Here we go, the big one. Okay, make sure you wish that Derek was still in Duke's chest. Mm. That's always that's always a good story. Yeah. Shooting hoops. I drove a Corolla and a Toyota Ethios a few years back. It was sure a joyful ride. Ethios. I don't have to look that up because that does not sound familiar. Of course, I'm pretty sure it's probably just a badge mirrored version of like a car we do get in the States. Pretty good uh, popcorn one, I think. Nuke's got the popcorn. It's similar to a Vitz. Oh, okay. So, pretty much a Toyota Yaris. If you're doing popcorn, there's not that much left in the room. Mm -hmm. They don't manufacture it anymore. It was fully replaced by the RS. Yeah. Get off my camera! Also, pretty good. Popcorn is such a great car. Yeah. Literally, Hunter just got himself wedged between me and my camera. So I was just like, I can't and see. GG. That's apparently good enough for 12th place, at least in terms of RTA. Old man has a Nissan Sentra, another great car. Uh, Carlos Ghosn era <laughs> Nissan Sentra. You should put that in your dating profile. I, I have 12th place. place in Hooters Road Trip. Oh yeah, I bet my girlfriend would really appreciate that. Yeah. 